most important thing for couples to realize is that the impact that they're going to have on their children getting divorced is enormous. And all the research now shows that children survive divorce and adjust well if the parents act civilly and behave as friends. So the biggest mistake a lot of parents make is they get angry, rush off to lawyers, rush off to court and start a war. And I've had children actually come into my office and draw me their parents with guns shooting each other as a representation when I do art therapy with them of how violent and how angry the parents are at each other. So I think it's quite important for parents to realize that if you create a warring situation, your children are going to become victims of a war between two parents, both of whom they love and don't want to have to choose. So it creates quite unstable environments for the children. And if the parents actually realize that creating a, a harmony of separation and showing the children that if relationships don't work, you can move into two separate happy environments where they can see a happy mom and a happy daddy and create a situation where the family can work together in harmony rather than in such a, an angry, violent situation which then affects the children at school, it affects their friendships, it affects the parents going to work. Like for example, I had one um, wife who told the husband she can only see the children from 5 in the afternoon till 7. But he worked in the city and usually couldn't get home before 9. So he then had to ask for a leave of absence, um, well not leave of absence, an early half day every Wednesday to leave the office by half past three to get to the kids by five o'clock to be able to see his children during the week. And that kind, so of course he became resentful because it started affecting the impact on his job. Um, she didn't care actually because they were just, she was angry that he wanted the divorce. And they were just landing up with, eventually got to the point where one of the children actually came into my office and said, I don't actually want to live with either one of them, I want to go to boarding school. And this little boy was like nine years old because he literally put his hand over his ears and said, I can't take this anymore. You know, all they do is fight and all they do is yell at each other and daddy's always angry he has to leave work and mommy's always angry that daddy left and it just becomes this very uncomfortable situation for everybody. So the children are unhappy, the parents are unhappy, the employers are unhappy, you know, it starts affecting everything, you know, output, income, um, promotions, bonuses, you know, the whole life of the family is then stuck in trauma rather than moving towards healing because the parents aren't at war.